Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Where we're galloping towards the Imperial City. In order to meet up with other members of the Thieves Guild. Because the old Hieronymus Lex and the damn City Watch are back doing their thing again in the waterfront. I feel like I owe the people of the waterfront something of a debt of gratitude. So... I'm going. I'm going to help sort it out. Even though we had a bit of a... Our trip to the south was... was, was, was yeah, not... not. Had its ups and downs, shall we say, if we're being generous. <laughs> uh, hello. Report some pillaging, murder and thievery. We're heading in the front gate of the, uh, the Imperial City. We'll leave Patsy up at the stables there. Uh, we're going this way for once because uh, uh, it'll load in any minute now. Come on. Um, because uh, the waterfront's covered in guards, so we're not going to go around that way like we normally would. <sighs> so. I knew... I, uh, the people who don't like it when I talk about the comment section are going to lose their minds now. You just go and skip ahead the video or something if you get that, 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 you know, annoyed about it. But anyway, I knew that the last episode would provoke a bit of a reaction from people. Um, and it did. <laughs> so. Come on, there we go. Ugh. Right. Now you behave yourself, Pansy. No wandering off, okay. Um, and it did. Um, lots of people clearly quite invested in Arthur as a character, and what I wouldn't mind saying to that is, is that's good. Uh, if nothing else, it means I'm doing at least something right, I suppose, if people are invested in the character and stuff like that. However, there were some people who were quite frustrated, I suppose, that I um, decided that Arthur was going to get arrested and lose some of his best equipment. Um... And I get that, I do, but here's the thing, right? So, A, things have been going a little bit too well for this guy so far. He needed he needed a little bit of misfortune, I think, to be honest with you. And also, he was getting a little bit OP. Level 13, as he was, and getting, you know, slightly OP with the ridiculously good alchemy equipment and magic artifacts and stuff he had. So, I mean, it's not like we lost all of them. Most of our really good gear we've still got but a few things like that ring of um, life detection or constant effect and the, the chameleon ring you know like they, they went because you know they were extremely powerful you know, to be honest with you they were extremely powerful items and, and the Okato's retort and yes I know it's a unique item and so on and so forth and no I'm not going to the evidence chest to steal all the stuff back because you know it'll completely defeat the point really um a wise man once said that a character cannot develop without losing something along the way. And if in Arthur's case it's it's something as trivial as a few shiny baubles, then so be it. But he can't really grow as a person without experiencing some kind of loss. Without experiencing mistakes and screw-ups and things like that. And what he just went through was a big mistake and a big screw-up. And he's out of pocket as a result of it. And that had to happen, I think. He was too cocky. He managed to get him, he managed to slip up by making a stupid mistake and talking to the guard. And that's what and that's what happened. And yes, he was what is it, citizen? You know, he was after after meeting Mazoga, having a having a little bit of a think about where his life is going and stuff like that. But he wasn't really going to act on it um i mean you know it's not a very realistic thing for a person to do like he goes off to spend like two days walking through the swamp with mazoga and then suddenly has some sort of epiphany that turns him into a good person like no nah, not really i don't think so how goes it 
gonna, it's gonna take a lot more than that to change this guy's mind. This is this is a, this is a bloke who's made his entire life's work burglary and thievery. You know, it's it's what he does. It's what he's done his entire life. He knows nothing else. He's not about to walk out there and say, "Right, I'm giving up my life of thievery. I'm going to be a blacksmith," because uh, that's not gonna happen. You know. Uh, I need to find a beggar. Actually, that's what I need to do. Um. That, you know, that, that's not going to happen. He's set in his ways, like a lot of people are in reality, you know. Um, real people do not just give up what they're doing and bugger off to do something completely different on a whim like that most of the time. They see someone like Mazoga, who's perhaps honestly just a better person than Arthur, and Arthur will sit there and he'll make excuses for why, you know, oh, that's fine, her life turned out the way, she, way it did because of her particular set of circumstances. It's different for me because I'm not. Mazoga and I'm Arthur and stuff. I can eat for a day with a single coin. Uh, Methodile. What's it worth to? It's about 15 gold coins, I would imagine. She's hiding in Denari Amnes' house in the Talos Plaza district. But she's one of the few that escaped when Lex invaded the waterfront. Uh huh. Ari Amnes' house. Well, where even is that then? Oh, it's just, just over here, apparently. <laughs> um, and yes, we need to go rest and level up. But, so here's the thing, though. Like, don't let that get you down, you know. You, you guys should know by this point that I don't like playing characters in RPGs that, that remain static. I don't like to end the LP with the character I had at the start, um, just with better gear. You guys know that my characters tend to change and evolve as the playthrough goes on. And Arthur is absolutely going to be no exception just because there's been a bit of a setback in the way that he views the world and maybe the way that his view of the world was starting to change does not mean it will never change. Um, I think maybe some people are a little bit thirsty for, 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 for change now immediately. Yes, yes. I mean, I'm not. I, I can spoil this for you. We're doing the Thieves Guild in its entirety. So if people were hoping I would just bugger off and do something else instead and leave the Thieves Guild, that ain't gonna happen. Because you know, I, I I want to do the Thieves Guild as a player. I want to do the Thieves Guild. I've not done it in ages, and it's a really enjoyable quest line. So you know, I'm going to fit the character development around that. You, you best believe it. Um. So, but what I'm saying is. You know, you you guys don't know what's going on in Arthur's future. To an extent, even I don't. I've got stuff planned, but things happen by accident quite often, like the guard arresting me earlier. Um, but just be patient. Enjoy the story. It's sure as hell far from over. It's far from even the halfway point at this at this juncture. So, you know. I don't like having to take get you know, you know come out of the playthrough here to discuss things like this, but um, when when I and, and people have a go at me, they'll have a go at me. They will, and they'll they'll, they'll do it in this comment section as well. They'll say, "Dave, I get it's really annoying when you talk to, talk about the comments." Look what I'm doing right now. I'm talking about the comments. Talking about the comments. Talking about the comments. <laughs> Inception. Um, but anyway, I like to talk with you guys and have a discussion in these videos that goes back and forth because that's sort of the whole point, right? Why why share this stuff with you people if I can't discuss it with you? And just pretend that the comments doesn't exist and pretend that I'm just talking to thin air the entire time. I don't... It's not the way I like to do things. It's never the way I'd like to do things. I like to talk to my viewers. Um, you know? I'm sorry if that's somehow annoying, but, you know, you can just skip ahead, you know? The option is there to do it. Um... But nevertheless, I don't like to t distract myself from the playthrough too much, but sometimes, you know, when, when, when you see people saying, oh, this is really frustrating, and they have lots of thumbs up on their comment, then I feel like I have to address it somehow, because clearly a lot of people feel the same. So, anyway, this is not... This is not Denari Amnes' house. This is Denari Amnes' house. She's been stood out there talking outside the wrong bloody house the entire time. Dearie me. It's either very dark in here, or there we go. Right. All oh, right, I forgot your wig lady. I had word that two of the jobs were successful. 
I'm busy now. You need to talk to Methrodel. Definitely a wig. I had word that two of the jobs were successful. Good. Uh, what is she talking about, Welcome by the way? To my hideout. It's uh, it's very fancy. It's good to see you. Likewise, but seriously, what's with the waterfront invasion nonsense? These are foul times for us. Armand is under house arrest again. Our business in the waterfront is totally shut down. We need to get Hieronymus Lex to lift his siege. I have put together a plan. What's your plan? You and four other operatives will stage high-profile thefts all at the same time. Hopefully that will force Lex to reassign the Watchmen. Your target is the Arcane University. We've had our eye on Rormir's staff for some time, but have been waiting for the wizards to be distracted. This is the perfect time. Will you help us? <laughs> Maybe later. Um, yeah, no, I'll help. I knew the Grey Fox could count on you. The staff is in the Archmage's room. He sleeps between one and seven in the morning. Take this note. Leave it in his nightstand. Bring me the staff when you get it. Okay. Shadow hide you. Four, four, four separate heists, and you you gave me the one that involves mages. Brilliant. Thanks, thanks, Methodel. But she did that on purpose. Uh, Brugo's take three hundred. What? Oh no, that one. Seems that security in the Arcane University is not what it used to be. In fact, that seems to be a problem all over the Imperial City. I would recommend that you get your guards back on duty unless you want more of your precious artifacts to go missing. <laughs> okay, I'm game. This sounds like fun. Um, right. Arcane University. Well, I'm not going back to the bloody waterfront, so I guess we're going to... Obviously, I'm going to wait until later tonight. I'm not going to do this in broad daylight. Um... Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Um, I'll find an inn to sleep at, I suppose. I guess it's the merchants in the market district or something. What is it? Actually, there's there's a uh, Luther Broad boarding house. Is it? In in um, this is this is the temple district. What am I doing? Uh huh. Wrong way. Uh, Elven Gardens district. That's where I want to be. So we can rest. We can level up until like one o'clock in the morning, How like midnight or so. Then we'll uh, then we'll make our way to the Arcane University. That's what we'll do. Simples, easy peasy. Speed. How hard could it be? Maybe I should go check out the Arcane University first. I don't know. Needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. Uh, no, nah, it'll be fine. I don't want to show my face around there prior to the crime, to be honest with you. If I can help it. Luther Broad's boarding house. I'm Luther. You want beds or food? See me. I'm Luther. Bed. If you've got ten gold, I've got a room for the night. Deal? Mm-hmm. The room's up the stairs, and it'll be the first door on your left. Where's the yelling coming from? All right. Hmm. Apparently, it's a chest I'm allowed to put things in. All right, so let's chill for a while. Half past midnight would probably be fine. There we go, and we can level up. Today I wake full of energy and ideas. I know somehow that overnight everything has changed. What a difference a day makes. Well, we didn't really sleep overnight. Whatever. Um, strength, sure. And uh, no. Uh, agility, yeah. Speed, endurance, person personality. And the pause while obscure is over all does some stuff. There we go. Marvellous. 
All right. It's noisy in here considering there's nobody around. I do love the audio mods I've got installed, but if there was an option to turn off the uh, the music and the shouting in the taverns, I would love that. But alas, that is not an option. <sighs> Excuse the yawn. I've had a I've had a long day uh, at the end of a busy week, folks. To be honest. Yesterday's episode was a little bit short, and today's probably will be as well, um, unfortunately, because uh, I've just got such a busy day today. And the same, it was the same yesterday, so I've got, I've just got not enough hours of the day, I tell you. I, I actually did some sitting down and, and thinking about how, how much time it takes me to get everything done in a week, including like YouTube and streams and everything. Um, and I think it totaled to something in the region of like 40 hours, which is, you know, not nearly as much as some jobs people do, but more than I thought I did in a week, if I'm honest. Um, where am I going? Yeah, this way. Yeah, you have to go through the Arboretum and then, yeah, okay. I remember how the Imperial said you laid out. I've only played this game for like, you know, 12 years. <laughs> what do you mean, come on? Yes. I wish, uh, I wish I could have gone outside the city and worked my way around instead of letting all the guards see me. I'll tell you what, I'll go out that way. Um, I'll bet there'll be a guard on this gate here, though, won't there? Oh. Is the Arcane University as laggy as it used to be? Oh, it's a little bit laggy, but not too bad. Okay. Now, theoretically, there shouldn't be a guard here because they're all in the waterfront. And it looks like they aren't here, so fair play. Okay. Archmage's lobby. Ah. That's not opening. Oh, crap. Dude's coming this way. All right, he's just gone into there. Look at the sparkly, magical stuff. It's sort of awesome at the same time, slightly terrifying. Uh... Right, you're just standing there for some reason. Wizard. Razan is a talented smith. The one of are the you best guys doing it around, around here? Hang on a minute, you're Julian Fannis. I was meant to come and talk to you about Garadin's tears. Ha ha ha! You know what? Yes. Hello. What can I help you with? Why are you wearing a wig as well? Um, I'm here, I'm here about Garadin's tears. You aren't the first person to go looking for those. Quite a remarkable story, really. I know a bit about it. You're not going to ask why I'm here so late. Oh, okay. Apparently, mages don't really care about that sort of thing. Um, uh, but no, please, please, I wish to hear it. I think we're, we're, we're playing for time here, really. Uh, so, yeah, I please, I wish to hear it. Certainly. Garretton was a knight who lorded over a small village of peaceful farmers. One harvest summer, there was a horrible drought. The farmers appealed to Garretton to discover a solution. He spent a week consulting with sages, until one of them mentioned a possibility. The sage told him of an artifact called the Everflow Ewer. The vessel, which looked like a silver pitcher, was said to supply endless water. Amazing! Yes, indeed. Legend has it 
that Garadan found the Ewer and that it was guarded by a fearsome creature. It is also said that the creature froze him. When Garadan realized his quest was a failure and he wouldn't be able to return and save the farmers, he began to shed some tears. As the ice enveloped him, some of his tears were frozen as well. Some even say that the divine, Mara, took pity on the poor knight. To commemorate his kind heart, she imbued the tears with some sort of magical power. That's only rumor, though. You know, if you're really interested in more, there's a book I read once called Nightfall. It may have more about Garadan. Uh, where can I find this book? I think I saw a copy last time I was at the first edition bookshop in the Market District. Why does everything and everyone seem to want me to go to a bookshop? I wish I could tell you more about them, but that's all I remember from speaking to my colleagues here at the university. Okay. Well. Please visit me again anytime. I'm glad to help. Give Sadrasa my regards. Will do. It's a time. Good God. Staying up late and partying hard, I, I see. Wow. Welcome back to the university. It's good to see you again. Uh, yeah. Um. Maybe I should just leave. Might come back in a couple what? of hours or something. Ah, oh, God. What is it with the Mages Guild? They're all freaking awake at ludicrous time in the morning. What, what is going on? Right, I'm just going to wait here for a little while in the corner. <laughs> um, I'll take a seat here. There we go. That's a bit less ridiculous. Um, right, it's nearly 3 a.m. You bastards better go to sleep. Now are you going? Well, they are. You're not. Greetings, right, wizard. They're distracted. They're having a conversation. Okay, let's go. I'm, they're never going to go to bed, are they? So. She must hate her job. People complaining to her all day. Stand here. They can't see me. If they stand here, they can. What's the news from the other part? Makes sense. They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the land of the Ultima. This is ridiculous. I'm going in. <laughs> To bonk you on the back of the head or not? I guess I probably shouldn't. But then again, you're totally going to see me go in if I don't, so. Oh boy. Hope this doesn't backfire horribly. Good stuff. Alien reference text. Whatever. I mean, since I'm here and all. That's the garbage. Oh, hello, Sidget Conspiracy. That's worth quite a bit. I'll take that. Implements of violence. Hmm. Thought it might be some sort of blunt weapon training book there. And yeah, I noticed that it's written by the guy I literally just knocked on the head with the blackjack. <laughs> I just taught him or two a thing about impl implements of violence. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, rep replica. Uh. Disappointing. Oh dear god. Apparently the Archmage sleeps in the nude. Uh, whoa, hello. Just one cotton picking minute here. Oh, I've actually got an expert retort. Journeyman Alembic, Journeyman Calcinator, Novice Mordor and Pestle. I'll take your Journeyman Mordor and Pestle. And hell, I'll take this too, because it's worth money. Ooh, 
suggested things. Marvelous. Oh, and Hromir's ice staff. Needs a key. You what? <laughs> what are you wearing on your feet there? Shiny key. Shiny key. I want the shiny key. I want his staff as well, but I'm never going to get away with it, am I? It weighs too much. Um. His notes. I've read Hannibal Traven's writings on the net read. Not yet, I haven't. I'll get back to you, Mr. Quest dialogue, when I've actually read it. Um. What? Oh, come on, really? Guess he's put the key somewhere else. Uh, let's, let's have a look. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty cool ring. I'm probably going to die when I finish looting this, aren't I? Should have known it's a bloody mage. Ar Archmage's chest. Uh, flame Tempest. Summon Lich. Wow. Um, Quickly, quaff a potion on the floor there. Apparently not enough. There we go. Ouch! Still on fire. Okay, good. That was... He's a very sound sleeper. It's, it's clear. It says enchanted chest. Like, it literally says enchanted chest. I mean, come on. Okay, maybe... Maybe I'll only trigger if I unlock it. Sometimes it gives you the, the little dialogue that says, there's a trap on this chest, should I disarm it? But not with that one, apparently. Ah, uh, it's empty. Well, that was pointless then. Any good wine? Ooh, yep. Anything in the baskets? No. Yeah. I think I already picked up one of those, but eh. Eh. Fragment Strot, Song of Hromir. Trod and quartered, Hromir was mightily amused. He swallowed his laughter in his mead, for none should laugh outright at the danger lord nocturnal. Without her grey cowl of shadowed night. Her uh, grey cowl, huh? Anyway, uh, her shroud, uh, her hideous face forced the moon to hide itself. Hromir the mighty did not quail. Wherefore be thy hood, shadowy hag? Mortal man has taken it from me unaware when I... I guess that's why it's a fragment, because it was only a fragment. Anyway. That, that, that book looks like it ought to be more valuable than it actually is. It's quite, quite, quite a fancy cover. Um, Right. Leave the note in the nightstand. Also, I've opened this. <laughs> Hello! That's... Rah! Marvellous. I was expecting that. Um, cloak. Chameleon 75%. Holy crap. Don't mind if I do. Slid the note into the Archmage's nightstand now to get the staff back to Methodel. Hey. 
Okay, right, so here's the thing. I want it. I'm off. To Lou. Whoa. Bye. <laughs> it was worth a try, all right? <laughs> I don't think he saw me. Uh, already rubbing the dust out of his eyes just as he noticed that someone was trying to nick his staff, which apparently he was sleeping with, which is frankly just a tad weird. But okay. <laughs> okay, so. Um, right. Uh, where to now? Yeah, I just need to get back to Methrodel. All right, we'll go around. Back to the front of the uh, the town. The city, even. It's not really a town, is it? It's a city, damn it. It's the Imperial City. You should address it by its proper title. Right. There may also be wildlife around here, so... Let's have the bow at the ready. Where's Merlin got to, anyway? I don't know. Stupid dog. I don't want to keep summoning him because it keeps increasing my damn restoration skill. <laughs> I don't want it to. Uh. So. I really wish you could de-knock your arrows in this game. Ah, you're stuck in a rock. Uh-oh. Wolf meat. Wolf meat has feather and restore health, and I don't know why I picked up that wolf pelt, but sod it. Never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Something wants me dead, all right. Ah! Well, that was anticlimactic. Ooh, big fat wolf. What time is it? It's 5 a.m. Yeah, I'll explain why it's a little bit lighter than I would have thought out here. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, just enjoying the music. Uh, what is that in the middle of the road? It looks like a boar. What happened there? There we go. <laughs> Doesn't know where I am. Stupid boy, you could at least run off. There we go, got you in the end. I took enough flipping arrows, didn't it? I recover some of them. No, I don't know where they've gone. Weird. Anyway. Uh, it was a bit dark, right? I couldn't quite see where my arrows were going. Never claimed to be flipping Legolas or Robin Hood, okay? You know, I'm not... <laughs> well, that accurate with a bow. I'm good at stealing stuff. I couldn't... Couldn't shoot an apple off a guy's head, though. Hello. All right, now, who the hell are you? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come in. I got what you need. You need something special? Check out my wares. You won't find this stuff at your local general store, that's for damn sure. What can I interest you in? Wow. Okay. Pleasure doing Give business with you. Give me those. Oh, that's, you know what, mate. 
Open hard lock. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah, you can. I actually can't persuade this guy, which is a little bit annoying. You bought that for a song. Yeah. Um. These are on target, right? I let that go. To a fine. I'm going to keep them so that I can use them from across a room and a potentially trapped chest. What else we got? Damage health. Not bad. Paralysis. Oh, yeah. Damage magic, 100 points. Sickness. Silence. Yeah, could be I useful. For dealing with angry archmages. Um, cure paralysis would be definitely very useful. I wouldn't make that and cure poison. A fine bargain for you. Weak potion of invisibility. No, no, I don't need that. However, what can I sell you, dear Sam? <laughs> Ironically, Shady Sam will not buy stolen items from me. <laughs> oh dear. Well, Midwind's tincture is uh, surprisingly valuable. Um, potion of charisma. Don't need that. Or that. Um, aha. Okay, that'll do for now. Excellent. Thank you. Come again. I may. <laughs> Come see me anytime, the, friend. The shady I fans. Thank you. Come back. again. Um, I may. I may actually though. Uh, now that I know you're there. It's a shame I can't do persuasion on him because then I could actually make him a proper fence, and that would be great. Because I bet his responsibility score is set incredibly low. Good to see you. Hello, Patsy. How are you doing? How's things? Are they treating you okay? I've heard rumors, you know, about this place, so I'm watching you. Touch my horse, and I will come for you with this hatchet. Actually, did not did I not make myself clear? Yeah, I got a few things I could put on you right now. Hell, for that matter, I got a few things I could probably take off you. I'm in the Imperial City, for Christ's sake. I've got fences and stuff here. I need to sell stuff, and I'll put it on the horse. I need to do the opposite of putting it on the horse. Um, what have you got for me? Uh, sort by weight, actually. Curious. No, Ebony Gauntlets, yes. Master Forge Gauntlets, yes. There's all these ball gowns and stuff. Greater Amulet of uh, something. Glassstone Necklace, Emerald Necklace, Amulet. This lazuli ring. All right. Cool. Oh, and there's all these bloody books. Oh, I'll take as many of them as I can. Which, as it turns out, is pretty much all of them. Okay, cool. Let's take in a load off Patsy. And hopefully I can sell at least some of this junk. But not today. We're going to need to speak to Methrodel and then uh, go ahead and sleep. Right. 
There we go. Still up, I see. Two of the jobs were successful. I'm glad you're here. We have work to do. I've got the ice staff. You have the ice staff? I'm like so surprised. Excellent. Yours is the last item on the list. Now we just wait for the powers that be to pull the plug on Hieronymus Lex's siege. What do we do while we wait? Good question. I want you to spy on Hieronymus Lex. Make sure you stay close enough to overhear any conversations. Sooner or later, they will order him to return the guards to their original posts. When that happens, come and tell me. Do I really need to do that? I want to go sleep. Shadow hide you. Uh, fine. How can I help you? You can go in my place. That's how you can help me. You can you can go and eavesdrop on Hieronymus Lex for me. That's what you can do. You wig the wearing lunatic.